Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Have you been using Copic markers and are interested in using them to airbrush? In this quick video, I'll show you the basics of an air compressor, the Copic airbrush system, and demonstrate how I used it to create this blue background. First, let's talk about the air compressor. I picked up this air compressor at my local hardware store for about $80. It's a desktop model and has a maximum output of 50 PSI. The Copic Airbrush system requires an air compressor between 20 and 50 PSI, so make sure you get the right one um, to be used for the co in Copics. It has easy on-off switch, the tank, a pressure gauge, and a knob for adjusting the pressure. It also came with its own air hose and it just happened to fit on the end of the Copic airbrush system. If you get one that does not have the right adapter, your hardware store uh, should be able to provide you with the correct adapter. When you turn the machine on, you'll hear the motor and what that is is filling the tank up with air. You could use it while the motor is going and as, as you use it, the motor will continue. Once the tank is filled with air, the motor will shut off and will only kick back on as you're using the air. So if you're doing a large product project, you may have the motor turn on and off. The Copic Airbridge system is very simple. The air hose connects to the bottom of the airbrush system and the marker these are sketch markers that I'm using. Just clicks right in. You just press down on this um, piece to airbrush. I'll demonstrate in a few minutes. When you use an airbrush system, make sure your work surface is protected and you follow all the appropriate uh, safety guidelines contained in the manual of your air compressor. I started by stamping this image with palette ink on good quality cardstock. But since I only want to airbrush the upper part in blue, I need to mask off most of the areas on this image. So I took some Eclipse masking tape and created a mask. Eclipse masking tape is a paper product that has repositionable adhesive on the back. It's like a giant roll of post-it note except the adhesive is all the way on the back. So you can stamp your mask and cut it out and place it over your image. I'm going to use three markers from the Flourish's Copic Sky Collection going from light to dark. I've got the lightest marker in my Copic airbrush uh, system and I'm going to start by just lightly covering the entire sky area with it. And then what I'll do, then I'm just going to go uh, the next darker color. And I'll only concentrate uh, on the uh, upper parts because I want the lower parts to remain light. Now I'll use the darkest color right at the very top. Now I'll remove the mask and see what it looks like. 
Here's what it looks like once the mask is removed. You see I have a nice horizon line. It's lighter at the bottom and darker at the top. And you can see my finished card there. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it informative. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.